What's up guys, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down the Boston College Eagles 2020 football schedule. Boston College last year went 6-7, and seven, seven, having a pretty disappointing season overall. Many people are expecting them to be a little bit better, at least have a winning record, but that was not the case as the Eagles were a pretty big letdown last year. Now there's a lot of change going on with the program that's been happening over the, this past offseason, mainly a new new head coach Jeff Halfley the defensive coordinator from Ohio State now is going to be the head coach of the Boston College Eagles he's brought some other former Ohio State assistants with him so that's definitely going to help I think the coaching staff will be better talent wise Boston College is losing a lot of talent though I will have to say losing AJ Dillon a very good running back that's going to hurt Anthony Brown I believe just transferred out to Oregon he might be the star for Oregon so that's going to hurt a lot and the quarterback situation is kind of iffy there's a few quarterbacks right now uh, that they're that they're looking at to see who'll get the start for week one. Uh, but right now, talent-wise, I don't think Boston College is very good. Coaching-wise, hey, an Ohio State assistant, that's a, that's a good coach. That's a good coach. So I think the coaching-wise, coaching, wa coaching -wise, they'll be better. Talent-wise, I don't think they'll be very good. Overall, their recruiting class is not very good. I don't think it's even in the top 50. I think it's 59th around, according to 24-7 sports. Uh, so overall, they're not they're not a very talented team. But coaching-wise, again, definitely improving a little bit. But without further ado, let's get started with this. Uh, I'll go from 1 to 13 and make an overall record prediction at the end of the video. 1, you have Syracuse. So Syracuse, I think, is doing is in the process of changing a little bit as well. I think after last year, there's going to be a lot of change around the program. Syracuse was a major letdown last year. Many people thought they would be ranked. Boston College did destroy them last year in the Carrier Dome. This upcoming season, I think Syracuse won't have won't have great talent either. Uh coaching-wise, Syracuse is making some coaching changes as well. I believe they're getting a new offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. So they'll definitely be different looking teams, I think. I would favor Boston College here based on what I saw last year and the fact that, you know, it's a home game for Boston College. So I would favor the Eagles here. I'm picking the Eagles, but this could definitely be a close one. It's technically a rivalry game pretty early on the season. So it is a big game on the first Friday of the season. To Ohio, really shouldn't be a problem here. I don't think this team will give Boston College that much of a challenge. They're just a max school right now, pretty average. So I have the Eagles winning. Three at Kansas. So Boston College was supposed to be Kansas at home last year. I don't know what happened. They got absolutely destroyed. That was a major letdown. Oh, uh, yeah, just absolutely embarrassed against Kansas at home. Now, Kansas, of course, is not a talented program. They have an okay head coach. You know, Les Miles, in my opinion, he's a decent head coach. You know, he won a national championship, but if he, if he didn't win that national championship, he probably wouldn't be considered as a good head coach. So I think Les Miles is decent. The talent, they don't have talent. It should be an interesting game, different squads, at least Boston College is a little bit different. Uh, so should be interesting. I think this is a game where I would, I would probably favor Kansas because they're home. But Boston College can definitely win this game. Purdue, another tough game. Now they're at home for this one, Boston College at least. But I think Purdue is going to be a bowl eligible team next year. I think they're going to be competing with some good Big Ten West teams next year in that division. So I think maybe like a seven and five team overall next year, Purdue. Uh, so I expect them to be pretty good overall, and this will be a tough challenge for Boston College. It has it is at home, which helps. If it was at Purdue, I would definitely say Purdue. But this is going to be a challenging game overall, kind of like Kansas. I could see either team winning here. You know, I probably would favor Purdue, but I could see either team winning. Five, Clemson. Listen, I, uh, it would be great to see Boston College pull off the upset. I understand maybe a Friday night. Clemson might not be coming in prepared, but let's be honest here. Clemson's way more talented, way better coaching, just way better everything. The only thing Boston College has on Clemson in this matchup was the fact that it's home, and that won't really matter. We saw two years ago Boston College was a ranked team. People were saying, oh, maybe Boston College will beat Clemson, and Clemson absolutely smacked Boston College two years ago, so I don't think it's going to matter that's at Chestnut Hill. I'll take Clemson by a lot. Six, Louisville. So, Louisville... Louisville is a good team last year. They improved a lot. And Boston College actually ne nearly beat Louisville. That would have been a great win for the Eagles. They couldn't get it done, though, at the end. 
home though this time. It should be an interesting game. I do think Louisville is more talented overall on the Bear football team. So I'd favor Louisville, but it is home for Boston College. So that might help a little bit. Seven bye week. Good time you ever to have your bye week. I think you're coming off two straight losses, maybe three three straight losses. So a time to really uh, you know, rest, get get set for the second half of the season, which will decide if you're bowl eligible or not. Eight at Virginia Tech, tough game, very tough place to play. Virginia Tech is going to be a pretty good football team, in my opinion, uh, next year. So I think this is going to be a really challenging game for, for uh, Boston College. You know, I think Virginia Tech will have a pretty good defense, decent offense. I don't think the Eagles will win this one. This will be one of the tougher games in their schedule. So I'm going to take I'm going to take Virginia Tech here. Nine, Holy Cross. That will be an easy one. It's a rivalry game, but this is no challenge for Boston College. They'll win this one easily. 10 at NC State. So NC State, I believe, I don't actually know. I, th I think Boston College might be in NC State. I might be wrong on that one. I didn't watch that game. Uh, NC State last year was not very good, though. They're another team in the ACC that definitely dropped off, at least compared to 2018. I think they were decent in 2018. Uh, they were pretty good, yeah, overall in 2018, but 2019, they were one of the worst teams in all of the ACC, big drop off there, it is at NC State, overall, though, I think Boston College is the better team, so it should be a good one, uh, you know, I think it's close, I would favor Boston College, though, in this one, even though it's away. 11 at Florida State, I think Florida State's gonna be pretty good next year, they have Mike Norvell, pretty good coach, Florida State beat, beat Boston College last year. And overall, the program name, it's still a pretty relevant program. Uh, they still have some talent, so I would definitely favor the Knowles here. 12, North Carolina, tough, tough game. One of the tougher games on your schedule. I think North Carolina is at least a 9-win team next year. They've got a great head coach with Mac Brown. They've got great talent coming in. I think, I think they have a top-20 recruiting class. They're a very talented team overall, in my opinion. I think their offense is going to be great. Great quarterback. Sam Howell, tough game for Boston College here. I would favor North Carolina. And 13 out Wake Forest. Wake Forest lost Jamie Newman. I understand it's on the road for Boston College, but I would favor Boston College here. I think they're the better team overall. Uh, Wake Forest looked great to start the season last year. I think they started out 5-0, and but they were a major disappointment late in the season. So overall, I have Boston College coming in at 6-6. Six and six. I think the, the wins are definitely Syracuse, Ohio. I Holy Cross, I think that's a win. NC State, I would say that's probably a win. And Wake Forest, I would say probably a win. Uh, your losses definitely are Clemson, North Carolina, Virginia Tech, Louisville. Those would be my four losses. And the rest are really up in the air. You know, Kansas, Purdue, probably split those two. Th thinking about they probably split those two. Although they could win those two, they could lose those two. It just really depends how they're doing uh, that day. But overall, I have them at 6-6 six and six overall. I think that's reasonable. They just make a bowl game just like they did last year. I still think with a great great coaching staff, they'll be able to make a bowl game. Uh, there's a Fenway Bowl coming up, actually, for this upcoming season. It's going to be a new bowl game. So I think they'll play right in that bowl game in Boston. New bowl game. So I like that. Uh, yeah, just 6-6 six and six overall. I understand they're losing A.J. Dillon and Anthony Brown. But I still think they'll at least be decent. So 6-6 six and six for the Eagles. Just making a bowl game. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out all my other videos. Leave your comments down below. And yeah, that's it for now, guys.